There was a celebration this weekend that was unfortunately overlooked due to the resignation of our former fearless leader, Johnny B. Biden. Now, of course, if John Biden hadn't taken away the spotlight, something else would have. For the past three decades, dump divers in the WNBA, they have been completely overlooked by just about anything else. Well, KC, that's no longer the case. Now the WNBA has huge stars. They are selling out high school gyms across the country and drawing huge ratings on television. Oh, yeah? The WNBA is no longer being overlooked. Hmm. <laughs> Last week, the schedule was released for the chase for the Golden Toilet, which the media erroneously calls the WNBA playoffs. Now, supposedly, this is the most important part of the WNBA season. This is the time of year when WNBA players are extra motivated to win the WNBA finals so they can spend the offseason using a stationary toilet instead of the portable potties they are typically forced to use. I even heard one traumatic case where a WNBA employee, they were using the porta potties without realizing the maintenance schedule. The truck came to perform routine maintenance, lifting the portable bathroom away mid doodle. Very, very scary. But since the playoffs are the most important part of the season and the WNBA is surging in popularity, you would think, you would think the league would be given prime real estate on ESPN and ABC, right? <laughs> The value of the WNBA is so high in the eyes of ESPN, the worldwide leader in Woke, they decided to bury most of the WNBA playoffs on ESPN too. Like I said, the WNBA, they are used to being overlooked, which is exactly what happened this weekend when Bob Griner announced the exciting news that her wife Sherelle had given birth to their first child. But it wasn't the immaculate conception that caught my attention. It was the delegation of parental roles that not only caught my attention, it confused the hell out of me. And it made me wonder how Brittany Griner is still qualified to play pretend basketball in the WNBA. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Over the years, I have been highly critical of Bob Griner and with good reason. Like her sister in Woke, Meg Rapino, Bob Griner staked her claim to fame by disrespecting the country that gives her the freedom to identify however the hell she wants. Bob Griner kneeled for the national anthem. Four years ago, she demanded that the WNBA stop playing the national anthem before pretend basketball games. Bob Griner also claimed to be a victim of American oppression. Now, what were some examples of this oppression? According to Bobby G at the time, she was fighting for LGBT rights. Well, KC, you forgot the Q, you forgot the IA, you forgot the plus plus. My bad. My bad. That was not intentional. I always want to show my respect to all my plus plus identifiers. But four or five years ago, Bob Griner was claiming to be oppressed. She was claiming to fight for LGBT rights that were already given. Fast forward two years later, Bob Griner is arrested in Mother Russia for trying to sneak some skunk through the airport. I believe the skunk's name was Herb. Bob was traveling to Russia for a planned vacation with Vlad Puder and Vladimir. He was upset that she would risk their vacation by trying to sneak her past security. Instead of spending the next few months on a beach with Vlad Puder, Bob Griner, she spent the next nine or ten months in Siberia. Now, as you guys know, our former fearless leader, Johnny B. Biden, he used his elite negotiating skills. He stood his ground with Vlad Puder, agreeing to send a notorious arms dealer back to Russia, who I believe was convicted of supplying weapons that were used against our military. He sent that Rolls Royce back to Russia in exchange for a Dodge Dart, Bob Griner. When Bob Griner returned to American oppression, she claimed to be a changed woman. She vowed to appreciate her country and fight for Americans who were wrongfully imprisoned overseas. Now, to her credit, Bob Griner has kept her word. <laughs> 
Over the last two years, Brittany Griner has used her platform to fight for Americans who are wrongly imprisoned. Over the weekend, she spoke out against Vlad Puder for convicting a reporter from the Wall Street Journal of espionage. Vlad gave the poor dude 16 years in prison in what the Wall Street Journal is calling a sham trial. Now, how many of you guys knew about this? I didn't know about it until I was researching this story with Bob Griner. So to her credit, Brittany Griner has stuck to her promise and she is using her platform to give a spotlight to others who would otherwise be overlooked or forgotten. But for some reason, people are still having a hard time relating to Bob Griner. And what happened this past weekend is probably the main reason why. This past weekend was the annual All-Star Game in the WNBA. For the first time ever, the WNBA All-Star Game featured an actual star, Caitlin Clark. What well, Casey, what about Angel Reese? What about Donna Taurasi? These women are megastars! If you spelled the word star backwards, that's who's in attendance when Donna Taurasi is playing. When the Phoenix Masculines are playing, it's so quiet in the arena, you can hear a mice queef in the rafters. Now, Angel Reese has name recognition. I guess you could call her a star, but she's damn sure not a draw. The only superstar on the court Saturday was Caitlin Clark. Now, Bob Griner, she also participated in the festivities. Since she is the only player in the WNBA capable of dunking a basketball, Bob Griner, she's an automatic all-star every year. Well, KC Angel Reese can dunk a basketball. Um, no, no, she can't. Angel Reese is capable of performing a WNBA dunk, but the rest of us call that a layup. And a lot of the time, she's airballing those. But before the action-packed non-star game Saturday, Bob Griner sat down for an interview with CBS Sports. Now, most of the time when athletes are interviewed, I will recognize the person conducting the interview. Aaron Andrews, Carissa Thompson, James Brown, they handle interviews in the NFL. Mike Wilbon, the legendary Ernie Johnson, the late Craig Sager, they handle interviews in the NBA. But with this being the WNBA, a league filled with unknown anonymous players, CBS. They selected an unknown reporter to conduct this interview with Bob Griner. I actually felt bad for this poor woman. Clearly, production failed to prep her for this interview. She obviously went into this uninformed because this unknown reporter, she immediately violated the woke commandments while interviewing Bobby G. She violated commandment number three, thou shalt not misgender. She was congratulating Bob Griner on the birth of her child. She affectionately referred to Bob as mom. <laughs> uh, it didn't take long for Bob Griner to correct this obvious violation. Watch for yourself. You're about to be a mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get pops. it together. Pops. About to yeah, be a pops. pops. Um, what? Excuse me? Come again? Let me make sure... I get this straight. Let me make sure I'm understanding you correctly. Because there's been a lot of speculation in the past regarding the gender of Brittany Griner. In the past, some have questioned whether Brittany Griner was born male and transitioned to female. When these allegations came up in past years, Brittany Griner, she has clearly stated she is a woman. It's been documented by ESPN and other mainstream media outlets. So according to the words of Brittany Griner, she is a woman. But all of a sudden, this past weekend, Bob Griner is now wanting to be called Pops. Now, I don't consider myself the smartest dude in the room, and I am the only one sitting in my studio right now, but I'm almost 100% positive. Referring to yourself as Pops means you want to be the father, which also means you want to be the male role model in the life of your child, which is great. Great. That's all good. 
All good. Every child needs a loving mother and a loving father. Bob and Sherelle Griner, they seem to have a loving relationship. If Bob wants to be the father and Sherelle is the mother, that's their business. As long as the child is being raised in a loving home, who cares? But when I heard Brittany Griner say this, I immediately thought of the WNBA. I was confused. I'm also confused when it comes to proper pronouns. Clearly, I was not the only one. This poor woman from CBS doing the interview, she was confused as well. Which pronouns are we supposed to use going forward when describing Brittany Griner? Better yet, which league should she be playing in? Should Brittany Griner be playing in the WNBA or should Bob Griner be playing in the NBA? <laughs> I know what I would do if I were in this situation. I'd be calling myself Bob Griner and playing in the NBA. In her decade of decadence in the dump, Brittany Griner's only made $1.5 million. Chump change. Average player in the NBA, they're making over $12 million a year. Now, I'm no Pythagoras, but pretty sure $12 million in one year, that's a hell of a lot more than $1.5 million in over 10 years. Now, of course, the NBA is not an option for Bob Griner because... She does not have the skills to make the league. Maybe that's why she's playing in the WNBA. You know, Bob Griner's lucky that John Biden stepped aside yesterday. Otherwise, I think this would have been one of the leading stories in conservative media. If you're choosing to identify as pops, how can you be allowed to play in a league that is designed for moms? With this being the WNBA, though, you already know how they would justify this. Pretend basketball is for everyone. When competing in our league, Brittany is a woman. When home with her wife, she is pops. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on this. Brittany Griner corrects this poor woman from CBS who congratulated her on becoming a mother. Now, according to the BG... She is choosing to identify as Pops. Someone please make it make sense. I'm legitimately confused. If Brittany Griner is Pops, should she be playing in the WNBA or the NBA? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys later.